Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the great Gibraltar draft with Hound Dogs and I thought we'd come back at a bit of a different time this year taking a look at the group stage of the Champions League. We have made it. I'll show you how we got here in a moment but we have got the group draw so we will obviously be in the bottom seed. Nothing surprising there. We have been for the past few years. But what we can see is what I thought was quite interesting is young boys um, being in the top seed. Don't know quite how that's happened when you've got the likes of United, Barcelona, Leipzig, Dortmund, Juventus and Inter in second. But hey-ho. Um, but a lot of good teams. Let's take a look and flick through this one. So there you go. A few teams in there. I mean, Group H is still looking the best group I think we'd want to be in. Maybe Group D as well. I'd be happy with that. As we go on through once again, again, oh, Group H has just got a bit harder with Atletico Madrid and Leipzig. Um, but I'd still be happy with any, I'll be honest, it's fine to have any of them, isn't it? Let's see then. We haven't got Group A. We've got Group B. Nope. Group C. Okay. There you go then. We'll draw all teams. And we've got Man City, Juventus and Shakhtar Donetsk. Um, that's going to be tough. I'll be honest, I think it'll be a tough one um, for sure to, to see how that goes. Uh, we probably won't do any games today um, just because of time frames, that sort of thing. But I can show you kind of how we've got on uh, and a couple of the transfers that we've made because there's been a lot going on with regards to transfers and retirements, that sort of thing. But we made it to the Champions League throw penalties against Mitchelland. Um We had a 2-1 win against them initially, but they matched that in the away leg. Um, oh, in our, yeah, in their away leg, our home leg. Um, but we we held on. Red Star, we managed to beat 2 0. Um, Sheriff and Kaoju, we beat very, very comfortably. So I'm pretty confident in getting through to at least the round just before the Champions League group stage. Um, in a consistent basis now, we've we've looked pretty solid. Um, finances wise, we've got twenty four million pounds in the bank uh, for getting to the Champions League, as well as a few transfers which we've made, which I will show you now. Now, there has been a few changes. Let me just check that I haven't missed anything um, from the end of last year, because you know that kind of happens. Ah, so there is a few. Andre Wisdom is one of them. Uh, he wanted to leave. I didn't want to argue the toss with him because he's been a very, very good player for us over the years. Um, 34 years old as well. He's getting on a little bit. We made 29,000 on him. He was, I think he's the last player that we drafted now um, who's finally left us. So uh, that's not bad. We got him for uh, the five years of his contract plus an extra one. And he played pretty much, I mean, most of the games and performed pretty well. So... I'm pretty happy with that to, to allow him move on. Gary Vinicius made the move from to Hibernian for 350,000. Uh, that's one that we did see um, was going to happen. Uh, shame that he's moved, but he has done, that's for sure. Now, there are a few transfers. We spent 4.7 million and we've brought in 5.5. There's some big names that have left us, which I'm I'm a bit gutted about. Would have been nice to keep hold of them. Um First one I'll mention is Ethan Erehon. He was on loan last year to Lincoln. Uh, we sold him to Hamilton for a profit. I just, yeah, he, he just didn't quite work for us, um, especially with the amount of wages he's on. Michael Harpass has left us to join Mines. They matched his release clause of 850k. Um, so we, I th think we made a loss on him, actually. Um, so I'm a bit gutted about that. But And he could have been pretty decent. I mean, that's why he's gone to Mines in Germany. But... Hey ho, you got to move on. We knew that Ethan and Munston Day was leaving us, so he's now officially gone to Songdal. Um, so no surprises there. Vladimir Ursu, the player I kind of panic bought in at left back um, from Mol from Benfica, the Moldovan international. Um, yeah, he's gone up to Dynamo Auto Tiraspol back in Moldova. Um, we've made a bit of money on him. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> a win's a win, I guess. Uh, Kingsley Michael is the other one who's gone to Alaves. £700,000 we've sold him for. Again, he wanted to go. We made some money on him, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's just a bit of a shame because he's a half-decent player. He's very well-rounded, played very well for us. But we have to move on. Um, the next one is Abdullah Al-Diabi to Bournemouth for a million. I'm absolutely gutted about this one. I tried my hardest to convince him, but then all the players had a moan at me about 
letting him go and all this stuff. So, and I wanted to try and keep morale up because that's the only way we're going to get anywhere in the Champions League and that sort of thing with um, great morale. So he has unfortunately left us for a million to Bournemouth in the Premier League. Um, we bought him for 2.3 million. So we made a loss, but he performed so well for us over the two years we had him. Um, hopefully he goes on to play for the first team of Bournemouth and, and gets half decent. Um it would be nice to... We might keep an eye on him, see how he gets on and see if we can bring him back at some stage anyway. But um, And finally, Leonardo um, to Ajax for 2.5 million. He has been loaned back to us. Ajax offered. We said yes. Um, he didn't really play for us um, so far because he's not been great in the performances he has played. But we've made a profit on him and we get him back for free for a season. So why not? Um, we weren't going to say no to having a free player in the squad. Um, nothing spectacular. I think, if anything, we've mugged Ajax off a little bit with that one. So, very happy with that. Now, we've got a few frees come in. Um, obviously, Leonardo came in on loan. Uh, Fausto Vieira was one we saw. Uh, Fausto Vera, I should say, um, from Aston Villa on a free. 27 years old. Uh, no caps for Argentina, but a few frees on 20 sides. Again... I think he looks very good. He'll be a fantastic central midfielder for us. He'll probably play most of our games. Solid, solid player. Um, the other three was Thomas Partey uh, from Arsenal. Well, Real Sociedad was his most recent team. But um, yeah, 34. So getting on a bit. 93 caps for Ghana. So super experienced. And I think he's just still got those mentals and technicals to really influence a game. Um, so I think it's that kind of veteran nature of having him in the side um, is good for the other boys as well as obviously the just technically he's pretty damn good. Um, Michi Bashuai is another one from Ibar. 400k we spent on him. Um, again, we needed kind of another striker. Uh, Salafu is probably going to be our striker this season. He's not fantastic in front of goal. Um, Romero's the only other one who did get banging a load of goals last year, getting top goal scorer. But I wanted to bring someone else in. Michi Bashuai again bit more happier to sit on the bench I think um, and to kind of come on and make those changes 33 years old so again a bit of experience in there so that's good to see and then finally Florentino Naranjo um, came from Stuttgart's second team four million pounds we spent on him um, was it worth it I don't know we will see a 20 years old Spaniard I yeah we will see for sure some nice off the balls some good work rates flair as well um, and he's Got decent pace and dribbling. Finishing's not fantastic, so we might have to look at him as a winger rather than the striker that he wants to play. Um, but he's a fringe player at the moment. He'll be on the on the kind of bench and that sort of thing. So transfer-wise, not much to say. Um, the only other one would Undungala, who has decided to retire. Um, but we did bring him in as a scout uh, for the club because, hey, that's what you do, isn't it? You always bring in the players that did play for you. But he... He's now in the at the club as a scout, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, otherwise, what else? Is there anything else we've got to directly show you? No, I don't think so. Um, obviously, it's a long season ahead. We've got Man City, Juventus, Shakhtar. So we might come back for maybe the Juventus game, maybe the City game at the end, depending on how we get on in the group. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how we do get on. Not important in the Cups. So we'll probably just throw out a couple of the youngsters from our under-23s and that sort of thing. Because um, I want to get them game time. Bjorn Hardy, we're trying to move on. He's not going to get game time for us. Not going to play. So we'll try and move him on. Stuart Marks, I want to get game time. A six foot four, giant. Good tackling, good marking. And hopefully that heading will improve. And he could be a half-decent kind of backup. Um, Reese White's another one that maybe could actually do something for us as a Gibraltar, um, which would be quite nice. Uh, and the other one is Brandon Stones again. Maybe something, some nice first touch technique, vision as well. So it could be a bit of a ball player in there. But we, we'll have to see. It's um, going to be tough to really develop any Gibraltar players at this level. Um, we've obviously, we are seven years in. Uh, another eight, we're, we're about halfway through really of the kind of challenge of this save um, to get to the 15 year mark and then see how we get on after that um, when we kind of leave the club. At the moment, I mean, youth recruitment wise, looking very good, exceptional, uh, youth facilities, excellent and excellent training facilities. Junior coaching, I, I'm really trying to work on improving that. I'm not exactly sure how we do that. So I'm going to have to properly have a look. But 
Um, our best 11's looking pretty solid. Um, can't really complain. I'm sure at some stage that will move around to our five at the back that we've been playing a lot more this season um, because that's been very much how it's worked. But that is probably that. Uh, El Hamer has come up to the first team, so he'll get some game time in um, in the league, that's for sure. Otherwise, I don't think there's much else to mention. Obviously, Kameni's around. Carrizo um, will be playing a bunch of wing back and winger um there thomas thern has had a bid in for him for ross county and it's matched his um release clause so that's another player that we probably will be leave losing um we have got other center halves so i'm not too concerned um like the likes of dane murray as Oliveira, kameni and of course also mbayamba who's currently out injured um for a few weeks we have got a few injuries to be fair four to six months for vitinha who's been very good in the champions league um, and then a couple of weeks for Saranich as well. And then D Dane Murray's out suspended. So we'll we'll just have to kind of go with the flow. El Tayab's been fantastic. Um, as usual, lots and lots of clubs coming in for him. Wanted, I mean, you can just see it there. Spaniel, Getafe, Lagans, Udinese, Torino, Spezia, Feyenoord, Freiburg, Lyon. And um, who else was that? Mets. So he is wanted. Um, we're not getting a lot of money for those players as I'm sure you can tell. 942000 though, um, in transfer budget and 53k in wages. We might still be able to do some work in the window. Uh, I might try and bring in a goalkeeper because at the moment we've obviously got Calvin Langard, Lang Lee, who will be our first choice at this stage because, I mean, he's Gibraltar, so why not um, if we're going to go down that route? And Fleming Kirkgaard, uh, the 21-year-old, kind of the backup, but he might actually take over at some stage. Otherwise, we will need to get a goalkeeper. So we'll, we'll, I'll take a look. We'll see how that goes. But we'll probably come back a bit later on for one of the Champions League games in the group stage. But thank you for watching. I know it's only a short one and I know there's no game time today. But I just wanted to give you an update uh, as we got to the season and see the draw itself as a bit of a change. But with that, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.